Good morning. Welcome to Christ the King's Morning Prayer Service. This is Monday, June 10th. The opening sentence is from Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, we will go into the house of the Lord. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. And we say together, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the vices and desires of our own hearts. We've offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant to most merciful Father for his sake that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And the O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it's supposed to be the beginning, it is now, and it ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. And on page 14, you'll find the Venite, and we'll read the Venite responsibly, and I'll begin. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And show ourselves glad in his songs. For the Lord is a great God. And a great king of all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth. And the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down. And kneel before the Lord our faith. For he is our God. And we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. We'll now have the psalm readings. The psalms appointed for today are, I lost it, uh, on page 398 in your Book of Common Prayer, Psalm 99 and 100. We will read this responsibly by half verse. The Lord is king, let the peoples tremble. He sits between the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all peoples. They shall give thanks unto his name, which is great and wonderful. Holy is he and mighty, the king who loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed judgment and righteousness in Jacob. O magnify the Lord our God. And fall down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name. They, they called, called upon the Lord, and he heard them. He spoke to them out of the cloudy pillar, for they kept, kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. You heard them, O Lord our God. You, you forgave, forgave them, them, O God, yet punished their evil doings. doings. O magnify the Lord our God, and worship him upon his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. And Psalm 100, Jubilate Deo. O be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Be assured that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not made ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. O oh, go your way into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and speak good of his name. For the Lord is gracious, his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures from generation to generation. Uh, 
Uh, the reading is Luke 22, verse 39, 39, 53, 39 to 53. Jesus prays on the Mount of Olives. And he came out and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. And being in agony, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat became like great drops of blood, falling down to the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Betrayal and arrest of Jesus. While he was still speaking, there came a crowd, and the man called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He drew near to Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus said to him, Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? And when those who were around him saw that uh, saw what would follow, they said, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, no more of this, and touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said to the high priests and officers of the temple and elders who had come out against him, have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs? When I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The canticle this morning is the Benedictus, and the Benedictus is found on page 19. And we'll do the Benedictus responsibly by half verse. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who fear us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham. To set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear. Oh, the righteousness of all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. To give his people knowledge of salvation. By the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God. The dawn of our prophet shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death. And the God of our faith in the way of peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed on page 20. And we say this together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born in the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. O oh Lord, guide those who govern us. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. O oh Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. The Collect of the Day. Grant, O oh Lord, that the course of this world may be so peaceably ordered by your providence that your church may joyfully serve you in quiet confidence and godly peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. On Monday, our focus is on Christ the King, especially a short-term prayer concerns and needs. Lord, we, we lift members of this congregation up to you who have special needs. We lift Norma up to you and Elizabeth, that you will place your healing hand on them and uh, help them through the weeks to come. Help the doctors who are, uh, and the surgeons who are working to mend them be skilled and quick and let their healing be as pain-free as possible. Continue your healing work on Jean and others in our parish who are completing uh, their healings. I ask that for myself also, Lord. And Lord, we thank you for uh, Bishop Stevens' visit yesterday, reception confirmation service, and thank you for the eight people that uh, made a public profession of faith in you and a desire to follow you and and become members of the uh, Anglican Church in North America. And we thank you for uh, your goodness uh, and uh, thank you for all the work that was done prior to the service and uh, afterward. The, the luncheon was fantastic and uh, to just thank you for the many hands that put everything together. And uh, we give you thanks for a church family and Christ the King in Jesus' name. Amen. We continue with a prayer of St. John Chrysostom, and that's found on page 26. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you are promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.